Hey guys, my name is Lindy. I'm an American that's been living in France for about six years now. And it's been raining the past couple weeks. It's starting to rain right now. <laughs> but it's supposedly not supposed to rain for the rest of the day. So we are going to take advantage of that and head to the unofficial Champagne Capital house. And yes, it looks like Reims in English, but the French pronounce it house. And this is my first time here. Uh, Reims is apparently known for its cathedral, and then, of course, it's Champagne. But I also learned that the people from Reims are nicknamed Cornichon, which means pickles. <laughs> so we are headed off to the train station. Uh, we'll probably get some lunch when we arrive. And then there's a car museum. Of course, check out the cathedral. And get some Champagne, and another specialty that Reims is known for. To the cathedrale and wow like normally when people say like oh yeah our our city's cathedral is really pretty and then like you go and you're like yeah it's nice it's a church but this one like the french gothic architecture and the detail it was so insane and beautiful and it was definitely the best cathedral i've ever visited it was so beautiful so Definitely recommend that for us.
the car museum. It has a collection of cars from 1903 to present day. It is 10 euros. Mm, were we impressed? I don't know if it's worth the 10 euros, but if you're looking for something to do, it was still a nice little stopover. We like, picked our favorite car and stuff like that. <laughs> There's also a specialty in the house called the Biscuit Rose de Reims, and kind of the legend of it is a baker back in the day, he wanted to take advantage of the heat in the oven between like making baguette and different breads and stuff, so he made this special dough, it's called Biscuit, so cook twice. It's like tradition to dunk it into champagne, but you could do like tea or coffee and stuff, so we're going to try to find that and try that out. researching I wanted to try the champagne the champagne obviously and when I was researching it yes it's champagne so it's more expensive but wow I was not expecting it to be like between 50 and 80 euros to do a tasting so we're not doing that <laughs> but I did find a little wine bar that they have champagne options so we're gonna head over there and try some champagne so let's do it to share some of my final thoughts. So if you're visiting Reims, I 1000% definitely recommend that you visit uh, the Cathedrale as well as the Basilique. Also the downtown area is really cool. There's lots of different cuisine options. Car museum, maybe pass up, but it's still a nice little stopover. And if you're wanting to splurge, definitely try doing a tour of the champagne cellar and a tasting. But for us, we did the wine bar and it was honestly perfect. And lastly, there's not lots to do here. So I think like a day trip is what I would recommend. But we had a nice little time. All right. <laughs> Let me know if you have visited Kobizu Yadakoshi. See you.